Now to a dangerous syndrome linked to coronavirus that is affecting children. Yeah, KKLine's Amy Johnson spoke with a specialist and has a warning tonight for parents. A rare and mysterious illness that appears to be linked to COVID-19 has been found in young children around the country, including three here in the Southland who were treated at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. So none of this is unique, but we need to understand it uniquely within this particular disease and it is certainly worrisome. Dr. Jeffrey Galpin is an infectious disease specialist. Most of the children who have come down with the unusual illness didn't appear to have the same symptoms associated with COVID-19, but they tested positive for coronavirus or the antibodies. Some people may be partly immunized, some may have mild disease and get a certain amount of immunity, but not enough. But maybe enough to make the immune system prime so that the next time they're exposed, they may even get a more severe disease. Dr. Galpin says there are a few diseases where that's been the case, including dengue fever in Vietnam. First time kids in Vietnam got it, soldiers. Many of them did fine. The second or third time they got it, they got a hemorrhagic fever, a lot of inflammation. He says this illness, pediatric inflammatory multi-system syndrome, or PIMS, needs to be studied more. What's the immunity that might trigger it? Then is it an, a new infection, an old infection, or something related to triggering it in kids weeks and weeks or a month or two later? The symptoms are similar to Kawasaki syndrome, and PIMS cases have been confused with the other rare illness. The symptoms for the new mystery illness include persistent fever, rash, swollen lymph nodes, inflammation of heart, eyes, mouth, and skin. Those three children were all treated in the past month here at Children's Hospital Los Angeles for Kawasaki's disease. They have since been tested for the antibodies of the coronavirus, and each one tested positive. We are today beginning a survey at all of our pediatric intensive care units uh, to make sure that uh, they haven't identified a similar syndrome. Unfortunately, the one age group that didn't appear to be hit so hard by the coronavirus is anything but immune. Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News.